There are two cars in this problem. The first, we'll call car A, is moving west to east, that's in the positive x direction, at an unknown speed, V sub A. The second car we'll call B, it's moving north to south, at a speed of 15 meters per second. They collide and combine into one, moving off together at some unknown speed, V, at an angle theta, 65 degrees south of east. The collision is perfectly inelastic, so we can solve it by conserving momentum. The momentum before the collision, in the initial state, equals the momentum after the collision, in the final state. This is a vector equation, so we can conserve the components independently. The momentum before and after the collision in the horizontal directions are equal, and the same thing for the y direction. You can solve these equations in any order you want. Let's start with the horizontal or x component. Before the collision, in the initial state, car A is moving in the x direction, so the momentum there is its mass times its velocity. After the collision, the horizontal momentum is due to this component of the combined velocity, that's Vx cos theta, so the momentum there is the combined mass times that component. There are two unknowns in this equation, the initial speed of car A and the final velocity V after the collision. So let's set this equation aside for a minute and look at the vertical component. Before the collision, the vertical momentum is due to car B, so that's minus mb v sub b. After the collision, the vertical momentum is due to this component of the combined velocity, that's minus v sine theta. So the momentum there is the mass times that velocity component. This equation has only one unknown, the final combined velocity, so we can solve for it. Substitute numbers to find that the final velocity is 7.1 meters per second. That's the answer to part A. Now that we know how fast the cars were moving after the impact, we can come back to the horizontal equation and use that value to solve for V sub A. Rearrange that equation, solving for VA, and substitute all the known values. When you calculate this, you find that before the collision, car A was moving at 5.2 meters per second. And that's the answer to part B. Now let me zoom out so that you can see the whole solution.